that's a fender, thank you. <laughs> uh, amazing checkpoint entrance. Oh, that's bad. I need a, I need a cape. Okay. So we want to like... There we go. Getting we try to work correctly here. I'm just gonna beat the level. <clears throat> yeah, I got checkpoint uh last time. Oh. And then the uh the retry system took me to the beginning of the level. So I just I moved the the level entrance offline to where the checkpoint is because I didn't want to mess with that on stream. So we just gotta beat the second half today and we're done. Motherfucker. I wanna I wanna stomp these chucks so I can like chill. Yeah, the first half was pretty chill. I think time to check for was 35 minutes. Most of it was like figuring out the takeoff, because it's not cape, strictly speaking. <laughs> Alright, are they dead? No. I can actually can kill this one. Is he dead? He's dead. All right, we can <laughs> we can actually go now. Okay. Uh huh. There's a generator here. That sucks. I remember the generator from the first half, which I uh. In my winning attempt, I don't even think I spawned a single Super Koopa. I just went through the generator too quickly before it uh, turned off. Yo, it's a pink. Yep. If Takam on the way to cape level, I, I would be surprised if it felt something like this. Oh my god, please. Please get, get the cape and go in the pipe. Is the generator evoking memories of like... The first Kaizo 1 special level or something for you? I know that's a dark time for most people who... Play Kaizo one. I get the feeling the second half is gonna take me longer than 35 minutes. It's just a hunch. There's a fucking Kaizo block there. Of course there is. I was thinking to myself, hey, maybe I can just take off and ignore the chucks. Oh. 
This is like anti-retry, this would be so fucking awful without retry if I had to do this shit plus an overworld transition. screen when I try to do it, that's why. Scrolling is enabled here. I should maybe scroll. Bullshit ass beginning. Second go with this. I wonder if I can fly through the the part with the generator quickly enough so the generator despawns again. Like the first time. I wall clip. Fuck you. Against humanity world, this is uh, this for my money is is a chill level IMO. The non-chill levels are uh, are the cape levels. Actually, have not seen anyone get past level three. Um, just click may have, but I went to sleep since he was playing Australian time. Okay, doing that sucks, and the reason it sucks is because oh, there's there's those there. The reason it sucks is because you uh, you have to contend with the baseballs. Yeah, there's like, I looked on the overworld uh, to, to see what level this was so that I could uh, move the, the level entrance, and there's like multiple islands of levels. I think I can go fast enough to despawn the uh, the Super Koopa Generator, or to turn it off, not to despawn it. That sucks. I actually don't even know if, if it despawns at any point. Like the, uh, the one of the first section went for like a screen or two before it despawned. Link Dead said that he would probably play this. I'm I'm excited for that. I'm hoping that'll be like a repeat of of his epic super responsible world playthrough. That was good television. Fuck! Ow. Ok, 
head. So that's that's the key. I put the setup in my own goddamn head. It should have it should have taken me as long to figure it out. But don't don't hold right immediately to do the bounce. Just uh, neutral for a bit until Mario goes into the the neutral cape animation, and then you and then you hold right, and you won't screen uh, scroll the screen as far to the right, and you can kill them because they're on screen. Okay, good strat for that part. I, I got a sticky fly and a hidden coin block there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why not? What the fuck? Oh, hello, Joes. <laughs> oh, PB. How far did you get in this, Joes? I went to bed at, uh, at level 3. Let's, let's do the strat. Yeah, okay, good. That part was, was eating up a lot of time and energy. It's good that I'm figuring out a means of dealing with that. That, that sucks. Alright, let's just die, I guess. Yo, yeah, what's up, William? Thank you. Got the checkpoint level 3. Haven't gone back yet. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's a good plan. Um, the first half of the, of the cape level was was pretty chill. This seems a, a bit less chill, but we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. We'll see how hard the whole thing is. Fuck! God damn it, at, the very uh, at the very least, when you get to the cape level, you can steal strats from me if you want. Flight meter is out of control here. The fact that you got the checkpoint in level three means uh, you got you got past first shove to quit. So congrats on that. <laughs> I actually haven't heard of anyone getting farther than that. The level three that is. Okay, good. Let's see if we can explore the auto scroller section a little bit. We stay all the way to the bottom of the screen. I don't think the super Koopa generator can get us. But we do have to gain some altitude to uh, to do that. Okay, and there's there's some more shit there. All right. <sighs> Things get a bit easier after the first few levels. Okay. Maybe when I become an EVE Online degenerate and have no sleep schedule, I'll like... I'll just stay up and watch Juz play through this Australian time. Okay. So we're gonna stay real low here. So not fuck with the super super generator. Fuck. Actually, was it me, or, or did the Super Koopa Generator go away by the time I, uh, I got to the two Paracoopas? It would be cool if it, if it wasn't active then, because that seems like kind of a nightmare if it is. I don't really have to kill that guy. I guess I can just, like, take off here and go to the right, but I kill him out of spite, because, you know, fuck him. Okay. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think it despawns like a screen or two later, just like in the first half. That's good news. Yeah, that happens sometimes. That's uh, that th that's like super Dram One design energy, right? Just leave the vanilla jank in for the authentic experience. All he needs is the uh, the message box apologizing for it. Yeah, the Super Koopas are fucking gone at this point. Alright, alright, let's see if we can learn something. Uh-huh. <sighs> so this Koopaling is gonna give us some altitude. Not enough to clear the thing. But then I can turn around or get negative speed and bounce on this chuck if I haven't killed him yet. And I probably won't have. And then I can I can navigate this thing. Honestly, I can probably ignore the chuck. I'm pretty sure the chuck is intended, but I, I think I can just double pump my way up over if I if I get to the Koopa fast enough. There you go, what's up third wall? Thank you. You assume correctly, Jobs, this is middle turnaround, although I have not had to turn around uh once yet. Or uh, I'll make a stronger statement for you, since that doesn't mean much for you coming from me. Uh, I, I don't think turnaround is intended anywhere yet, from what I've seen. Um, you'll be heartened to know that I asked why not if he knew how to double pump when he made this, and then he said no, so... Uh, I think you don't really have to deal with any vanilla turnaround peculiarities in this, in this level. Uh, but that's not going to stop me from... You know, using my Pogio knowledge <laughs> to make life easier for myself. flight. How? Did I fucking wall clip? Did I release the button by accident? God damn it. Okay, and there's... Is that a fucking gold tape? Is that a gold tape I see? Okay. Yo, what's up, Brad? Thank you. What's up, babe? That's a good emote. Yeah, the first section was also pretty short. I think the, the design approach here is uh, for, for like most people, for, you know, not K people. Uh, this is supposed to be like vicious, but short. And for K people, like it's, it's just gonna be short. <laughs> I got fucked up by the outer scroller and I ceased to be able to measure Mario's speed off screen. Sprite at gold tape. Is that a is that a thingy emote? I'll add it to my channel if you paste the link. I don't have the add-ons, but I'll I'll add them to my channel if someone gives me the link. Oh my god. It is added, okay, very good. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't have any of the extensions, so I, I don't keep track of what is and is not added. But I'll, I'll add, like, inoffensive ones that people like. Oh, oh, you can, oh, you can save it. You can save it if you don't fuck it up enough, uh, far enough to the right. In true... Pogeo level spirit. Oh my god. Can't say that. <laughs> Thanks, Kaiser Block. This all came out of me watching Shove to Jez. She was like suffering through the you know first three levels, and uh, to try to make her feel better, I said, uh, "If this has a cape level, I will play it and beat it," being almost certain that it didn't. And then I get a DM from Why Not, and he said, uh, "Shovda would like me uh, to let you know that that there's a cape level in this," and then he sent me the one with Mario starting at the cape level. <laughs> Spawn. If you have a fucked up hack, but there's a cape level in it, I'll play it, I don't care. Played this, beat the fucking hacker's dreams cape level. Another nasty spawn. First spawn comes up a lot. I should maybe situate myself so that I'm not gonna get owned by it. I went too far to the right too fast. To the right. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. I I could b backwards fly there to try to avoid that, I guess. If I'm far enough away from pollen. Oh, 
This is the second one. You should go on. Now, let's try not to lose flight here. I don't know what happened last time. So I got a lucky turn around. It felt like I was hugging the wall, but it did not bounce off the base ballman. I wonder if, if I should just avoid that strategy. If I should just try to double pump my rope real fast. But that's gonna be ass. That's gonna be super ass because of uh, of this other pitch and chuck that's right in my way. Huh. Okay, and that, that section needs a little figuring out. God damn it. Oh, okay. If I can get down there faster, I think I can... I can do the climb after the Koopa Bounce before the, um... The annoying Pitch and Chuck spawns. So I think that strat is still going on, actually. I forgot that this is an auto-scroller, and I can use that to my advantage to, like, do spawn minute. weird. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. Oh. Fuck. I wanna hang out, uh, within the super Koopa generator zone for as little time as possible. Especially when I'm not at the bottom of the screen where I can dodge them all. In between them, really. I got that perfectly wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think why not should have submitted this as a ROM hack race as well. I think it would make a fantastic one. Oh, this is what we want to do if we want to yeah, do this strat. I wall clipped. I saw it that time. I fucking wall clipped. Bruh. Okay. I didn't get around to finishing the, uh, the level that I was gonna make for the AGDQ practice room. Um, and part of the reason I, I didn't rush to finish is because there weren't that many people who were, like, interested and capable of beating it, uh, at AGDQ. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll submit that to ye old ROM hack race if there's, like, a shortage of levels or something. No. Fuck. Don't wall clip. Oh! Oh, he's fucking gone. He's fucking gone. Can I win? Do I need do I need to fly? Oh, why not, you motherfucker? What the fuck? Do you have to do the thing here where you uh where you do the cake pump at the end? After the goal? I don't remember how to do that shit. Mm. All right, well. Hmm. Just maybe I need to keep flight through that. I also don't know if, if holding B makes you. I don't think holding B makes you slow fall after you get the gold tape. You get the gold tip from the other side. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember how it works. It might just uh, activate the goal if you uh, hit it. If you hit its uh, X position while going from the fuck. I'm dead. While going from the left or over it. Some flips, thank you. A pool of levels. Um, yeah, in general, that seems like a good idea. Um, eventually, I would have to take back my level from the pool of levels in case I decide to, like, make the level public for some other occasion, but it's probably fine. i just let y'all know. How goes the cape? Uh, well, I got to the goal, but I didn't have flight, and I, I think it is intended that you have flight, 
And I think it's also possibly intended that you, you get the cake pump after you touch the gold tape, which I don't remember how to do. Fuck. Second half is really asking some shit of you. But it is, it is good that, um, you can indeed bounce off that chuck that I failed to bounce off before for some reason. And so I should definitely do that with negative speed so that I don't need to waste time, like, dealing with turnarounds in, in a fucking auto scroll. Oh. oh, need the cape. What's up, Millie? Thank you. Don't know how to avoid getting the cape into the goal tape. Well, I guess I'll just try to hit the goal while, ha while having flight and see if I get lucky. Yeah, I think the last person I saw uh, do that for something is Shubda. I think it was for something she was playing that required it. Get the drop on it. Nope. All right. Well, this this section is officially harder than the first half because we have not beaten this in 35 minutes. <laughs> you hate to see it. Just good case to see it most of all. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Toxic? Thank you for reason. This is not what you want. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'm gonna despawn in a second. Oh. Okay, it's a bunch of shit. <laughs> Get there at around the same time. Yeah, no, it's not the case here, unfortunately. setup as distraction proof. He has his uh, chat window open at like a much larger angle than I do, so he has to like turn his head to get distracted by chat. my chat once. I forgot what I was grinding, but I was grinding something, and I think I just, like, turned that monitor off until I was done. <laughs> this does not call for that. Oh, 
This has a uh, third lava dolphin GDF Royfly competition entry energy if that level were like about five times less fucked up. can get there early enough that you, uh, that you don't need to deal with the baseball. Nice wide space between them that time. I hit something there. Are there fucking munchers down there? I should like this level over in real magic for fun after I beat it. Got me twice now, I think. Oh, 
I was so close to just sneaking, sneaking past them before they spawn. Maybe I should wait for the first one. I have to hang out and wait for the Koopaling to appear on the screen anymore. Zero speed. Too close to the bottom of the screen. No, I don't want to be up here. Don't want to be up here. Okay. Here's some extremely spooky super super spawns. Mmm. <laughs> Either that's not possible by just uh, trying to get negative speed, or you have to do it like faster than, than I did. I missed him by just a tiny bit. I think that's worth trying again. Um, if it does work, it's way better than, than trying to get turnarounds during an auto spawn. While there's fucking baseballs flying at your head. I also gotta remember that I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing this for all the people who aren't cape gamers who are gonna get to this level and have a bad time. I gotta make good, consistent, easy strats for them. A lot of weight on my shoulders. It's somewhat self-serving because I also want to see them suffer through whatever is after this level. That's a spooky spawn. Good thing I'm still low. I'm here too early. Thanks, double pump. I got the bad bounce. Shit.
really god damn it dude If you hug the wall that the baseball truck is on, you can bounce on him so he stops throwing the baseballs while keeping flight. Um, are we talking about the first one? I don't think I want to do that, because the strat that I'm investigating right now is uh, bouncing off of him from the other side to gain altitude without having to do turnarounds. It seems borderline possible, so I'm going to try it out like another another attempt or two, and then after that, yeah, I'll probably get rid of him in that way. Not sure if he can get out of the wall. That's something. Uh, yeah, we can test that maybe. Actually, I think the first time that I got there or, or something, the first time I got to the goal, I think I saw him uh, try to start running, at which point he, he clipped up into the blocks and went to heaven. So I think that's what might happen if, if I bonk him and he tries to start running. He went to heaven with Charles Chuckington. Oh, between them again. As we learned during the Luminescent run at AGDQ, Mario clips down to hell because he is morally impure, but other sprites clip up to heaven. Because they are mere victims of Mario's crimes. What's up, Marywald? Thank you. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, he doesn't go all the way up to heaven, but, but he does go up over the level, so... Yeah, 
yeah, my current strat involves bouncing him off the other side, so I'm gonna not do that for now. He ascended. There's probably some Kusa ROM hack setup that you can do using that. Like if you need him up there to like break blocks for you or something, you can hit him and send him up there. Oh fuck. The beginning, once you learn it, uh, of the first half was way less, uh, obnoxiously time-consuming than this. <laughs> Super Koopa in particular. No, oh, you piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> 
No. Hello, Truman. Nope. <laughs> Bounce off the fucking Koopa dude. <laughs> This is my Tower of Fate hard mode. That's not really true. <laughs> Can you turn the heat off when you go? Oh, I never got the slide before. This bitch. Alright, I'm gonna open a window since I think part of why I'm playing poorly is the heat. Very spooky. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Almost slowed down too much when you ate shit on the munchies. Fuck. That was about the best that I could get it, I think. And it wasn't enough. That sucks. Ow. I'm curious about what the intended solution is then, actually. It's not backwards flying in double pumps, that's why I said that he doesn't fuck with that. Maybe you just do it like the old default crappy uh, flail around, turn around style. Alright, I think maybe I'm gonna abandon that strat. Now that chuck up there to the right is gonna, gonna be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Did he fucking clip me as he was ascending? Fuck. I didn't know that. 
that was a risk. What's up, Eleanor? Thank you. This is a fucked up one. Mandatory ferret emote. Embarrassing. That's rough without uh, assistance from the other Chuck. Maybe I should. Maybe I should turn around. Maybe I should turn around and hit him like I did the first time, and then like just not die to the other baseballs. Maybe. Maybe we can give that a few tries. Maybe that's the second best option instead of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, definitely, but the problem with tapping X is that uh, I now run the risk of uh, getting into a bad turnaround situation with the auto scroller uh, pressuring me time wise. Uh, but that is what I'm about to try since it, it seems like the second best option. I can't seem to pull off the first best, which is uh, just getting negative speed and hitting him from the right. see where that sends me. <laughs> I've never had flight over there, so I'm probably gonna panic and die, but it is it is worth trying. So I'll try to remember neutral when I hit him. Oh, 
that was a nice assist. Okay. Alright. I got lucky there. Alright, gamers. Oh, I forgot about that one. Fuck! Oh, I should have gone for it sooner. God damn it. God damn it. Was there like a safe spot altitude wise for me to be? I just panicked when I saw the one that I forgot about. Oh yeah, there's more. <laughs> but that's all there is. I like how I immediately started playing better after my room cooled down. <laughs> Probably close the window a bit. It is a fucked ending. The most fucked thing about it is that Why Not appears to know about the, uh, do a cake pump after you touch the gold tape trick, and so I'm now subjected to that. I, I can imagine, like, grinding this level for several more hours, just grinding that trick. on the lowest truck and hold right and B. Uh, I will have to assess that when I get over there. Like the feasibility of doing it and not whether it'll work. It's definitely worth trying if I can pull it. But if I feel safer uh, just touching the goal, um, some other way, I'll probably go for that and just try to do the cape pump. Oh, that sucks. Fuck. Yeah, you can you can pip up a cape pump after touching the gold tape. Um, fuck if I remember how to do it. <laughs> There's the problem. focus on getting everything else consistent then since that's that's the series of obstacles to grind Right. <laughs> 
Oh, there's two of them. Alright, that that I shouldn't do because I don't need to make this this part hard for myself every time. almost killed me. And that last attempt that I got to the goal uh, on, it should be noted, I got the lucky turnaround. Which, in that case, is continuing to face to the right after I press the button. So I can imagine it going even worse for me if I, if I actually get the turnaround. Someone should make uh, a plugin that's the opposite thing, like tracks how absent you've been from the stream while coming in and watching every now and then. It's like watch one stream every five years and win that competition. Oh, that was sketchy. Can we bounce? No, maybe if I was ducked. fucking die. Okay. Gamify neglect. There you go. I like that. That's a good term for it. Yo, what's up, Doc? Thank you. Pokey. 
No, I think that might be the first time that's happened. I knew, I knew it might. <sighs> Are you here because the first batch of ROM hack racers have finished the level? <laughs> How did it go tonight? It's not that bad since it's only 44 minutes into the level. Oh, that's right, the SMB2 level. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good bounce. the best attempt yet. I feel like I very nearly landed on the uh, on the block this time. Maybe a little more altitude. Pain. Yep. What's up, Snake? Thank you for resub. Okay. All right. I can, I can kill the top one with a bounce. I don't know how much real estate I have and how safe that is to do. So if he fucks off, I have a lot of time to gain more altitude. So like, actually this might not require the cape pump after the goal. Maybe why not does not in fact know about that. And it just requires you to get like way the fuck up over the thing. After the goal, we're debating whether or not it's uh, required in this level. The timing is very particular. I didn't want. Oh my fucking god. this clip I want to see if I get um, speed to the right at all after I touch the goal yeah it's it's very slow going to the right so if I have enough altitude I think I should be able to do it I don't think pumping after the goal is necessary although if I can pull it off that would be an alternate means of victory I think I might start uh, trying to kill that that chuck up there so that I can actually gain altitude without being threatened by him. Um, bouncing off that that bottom one there is is another possibility like flip suggested might try that if I if I feel like I might succeed. This is an ending. This is one of the cape endings of all time. Mm. 
Get him! Fuck. Oh. Sub Zop Dash, thank you. So like it's cool that I still got to the goal even after I I turned around. Um But it was still only luck that got me that far. Like I was I was flailing. I wasn't I wasn't doing turnaround tech and on like the third try or something I got. I got the one that I wanted. But like, if I can win with flailing, it's good enough for me. Although it won't be good enough for the other people who watch my clear video for strats later. And I'm dead. Oh. Should have neutraled. The part is still kind of stressful and I, I panic a little bit. Good thing I didn't uh, try to beat this last time. There were too much to do in one sitting for me. off the lowest one gives you just enough height to reach the highest one for another bounce. <laughs> that is pretty sickos. We'll see. We'll see about that. I feel like if I was like another tile or two higher after where I was in my last attempt, um, that would have been good. Because I, I very nearly landed on the ground. And I don't think you have to do any anything different from what I've been doing to do that. You just have to, like, be careful and not fuck up. Which, to be fair, is easier said than done in a part like that. If I'm facing the right way and I have the altitude, um, killing the one that's all the way at the top is really attractive because then you can just climb as far as you want. Mm, there's an idea. I think that's probably plan B. I think that that's the best alternate strat. Doesn't seem that hard to pull. I need to pay attention to where he is though. I don't I don't really remember. Good. Oh, 
Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, with a bad frame rule, let's just die, let's just die. Is the first half supposed to be harder? Did I just get like super lucky somehow to have beat it as quickly as I did? Because <laughs> this is like... This is quite the difficulty difference between the two halves. Not that that's unheard of in ROM hacks. Usually it's the second half that's easy. This one, though. Mm. Are you going to the right for the entire time after you touch the goal? Because it felt like I went to the right for a little bit and then I just like stopped dead after a while. Coded at the goal line. Okay. That means it's just a matter of altitude. Spooky, don't like that. Or bouncing on the man, I guess. Fuck that up. <laughs> bouncing on the man is super spooky. I don't know that, that I'm down with that. of Mario because he sends you you left and then it feels pretty hard to regain control of Mario like getting the right uh, right speed like with all those other baseballs going on so I'm still not unsure what the intended solution is I saw the uh, the goal the first time like over an hour ago, <laughs> and I have no idea how to get it. Real uh, Kaizo hack moment. Maybe it's just breathing through the the top baseballs. Depending on how long the auto scroller goes, 
the one on top might also despawn eventually, allowing you to climb up. Motherfucker. The float frame rule. I don't remember if I held jump when I when I passed it. Should definitely hold jump next time I touch the tape. If I wasn't holding B that, that one time that I, I very nearly landed on it, um, I think holding B is, is all that would have been necessary there. I can imagine it's like, get as high as you can without being killed by the top chuck and hold B. That seems in the realm of possibility. I didn't think that was going to get me. Are you going to play this later, Flips? Thank you, enjoy it. Oh, 
That's right, which is why Why Not sent me a, a ROM which just starts Mario at this level. What I'm engaging in right now is author approved activity. Hackjam level. Don't make bullshit. I'm a judge. I'll remember. Okay, very good. As far as I know, nothing is patched. Nor would I get anything out of crashing the game for myself. up anyway. Very good. I wonder if a task can get into this pipe unlike the first or second cake pump. I haven't been able to. What would a task do here? Can't wall jump on the thing. Speed by accident. Just trying to do the big bounce button. <laughs> this is what a post super responsible world cape level looks like, Panga. Up that that exists. So, <laughs> Bully Mario, Alexa, thank you. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know that, that we should assume that this slowdown is deliberate. It seems to only happen sometimes when there's a uh, like, high enough density of Super Koopas from the generator. I don't want it, it doesn't help me. I mean, I guess it could be there intentionally to hurt me, unlike the Disco Dance Party lag, which is suspected as helping the player do Disco Shell bounces, which were impossible to do in fucking 2015. Wow. Yeah, I wonder how thoroughly this was tested. I wonder if this was like uh, a one and done, <laughs> or uh, if why not played it like a bunch. Uh, agree, probably not fast for I'm given uh, how little it takes to lag. Motherfucker. I need to be getting past that shit way more often so that I can try strats out for the end. Screen double pump. It's a good thing I don't need the fucking visual cue for the cape animation anymore to figure out when to do it. Dead. It's fucking pokey. It's way more sinister than it appears. Fuck you, dude. Okay. Do not be that high. I actually don't think I can even kill him. Uh, if he's... If he's gonna throw a baseball like before he's even, vi even visible. So I think one of my backup strats about killing that guy so I can get more altitude at the end is not gonna work out. cycle was like synced with the fucking baseballs. It's no good, you don't want that. <laughs> nice frame roll. Oh, 
Yeah, the uh, the Tiger Umar DLC is considerably less popular than Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> Just a bit less, less widespread. Oh my god, amazing. Could that have failed that any more spectacularly? Alright, uh, what are we gonna do here? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Wait, there's a poke after the gold tape? What if I lose flight and I wait for it to fall off the edge? Oh, but no, when I when I pass the goal, it's gonna turn into a coin, so I can't spin jump off it, right? What's up, Glumbear? What's up, Glitch? Thank you. That's not what I want. Fuck. I do not know how to get any higher than than this top chuck on either side. I do not know. Oh. 
That was really. The fact that you have to go through this, which is like just a paying attention test for the most part, before getting to the like hard shit for which you need to develop strats is, is wearing on me a little bit, which of course is, is the objective of the ROM hack. So working as intended. If I made Why Not a Revenge Cape level after this, do you think he would play it? Why not if you're watching, let me know in DMs. Let's fucking go. God damn. My word to shove down, that's enough of that. Spinal tap reference, really? Why not would be cultured? Okay. What's up, Abe? I think that's enough for now. I had other stuff to do, but I also thought this would take me, you know, half an hour, so. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Catch you later.